I don't exactly know who told who what, but somebody called, simply there were young producers, MTV was just the greatest place to work at in those days. Um, it must have been, it was a little like what maybe SNL was like in its very first years, in, as a, except as a network, in that it was run by crazy people and they didn't know anything about television. They just wanted to do really fun things and just change the way everything looked and everything was done. Um, and it really was about music. It was seriously about music, or at least music videos and music. Um, this was before, I think that show, The Real World, that MTV v did later on, kind of began that whole reality thing and just changed, it changed the direction of the network, I think, too. Um, so someone called me from, someone called me from MTV and said, would you come over? Now, mind you, uh, 1515 Broadway is only about five blocks away from Rockefeller Center. So, um, and that's where they were doing everything at that time, and, or everything was coming out of there. So I went over for a meeting, and it was to do Kurt Loder, the news at night with Kurt Loder. Um, and uh, um, Mark Pellington, who's a director now, a wonderful director, Mark Pellington was the head of graphics in those days. And he and I got together and came up with a concept for what we wanted that to look like. Um, and that was the first thing, it's not important what it did look like, but that was the first thing I did. But what I did do was I did uh, something, I did a sort of pop art, sort of based on a Lichtenstein type look with, uh, with dots. Um, I did a sort of background like that and just sort of laid it out and sort of how the, we were going to, we were doing something interesting. We were trying to play with the frame, where you would do an insert frame, where Kurt would be, what would be behind me. We were really trying to compose the shot. And it was kind of an interesting thing that we hadn't seen anybody do before at the time. And the thing I remember most about that though was them telling me that they had, oh geez, maybe $8,000 for the whole set, including me, maybe ten, eight or $10,000 for the whole thing, including me. And I said, okay, that'll be fine. I'll be four for me and four for the set. And they said, well, we were thinking like maybe like, you know, it'd be two for you and six for a set. And I said, well, you realize that I am the set. I am what the set becomes. It's not about how much plywood you can buy, it's how much, it's what the design is. And I realized that I had learned something really good from Eugene <laughs> really early on, which was um, your value is important and don't undersell it. 